I'm joined by jockey Brian Hernandez Jr. He was aboard Mystic Dan for his final work in advance of the Kentucky Derby this morning. You were in company on the outside. What did you feel underneath you out there? He worked well. You know, he had a pretty stiff la work last week, so this week Kenny thought that uh, we didn't need to do as much with him, so he just went He went a nice smooth 101, you know, right outside of a, a pretty nice horse that just broke his maiden at Keeneland. And uh, it was just perfect 12s the whole way around there, so we, you have to be happy with him. He, he crossed the wire under his own will and just cruising along nicely. You ride here regularly. We talk a lot about horses that love this track, horse for course angle. He does have a win here. Can you feel underneath you when a horse is really happy over a particular surface? Yeah, and in, and in Mystic Dance case especially, he, uh, he's been here a while now. You know, he, he shipped here right after the Arkansas Derby, so he's been here a, a little over a month, and, and he seems to be handling it well. He did all of his early training as a two-year-old here, and he's familiar with the place. Have you noticed development or changes in him from that point until now? He's just a really cool horse, you know. The, the nice thing about him is he's so laid back, nothing really bothers him. So you just kind of let him go out there and do his thing. And the one biggest thing that we've kind of learned about him is he's finally learned how to, to go the two turns, which he, he proved that in the Southwest. So you just have to hope that he, he shows up on Saturday and, and he's the right horse on the right day. His style has really changed from the early days until now, but in a good way, he's really finishing up. Have you felt that progression mentally in him and being able to settle, relax, and make that one run? Yeah, he seems to be, you know, even like going to the pole and that when you're galloping to the pole, he, he gallops nice and off the bridle. And, and when you get to the pole, he'll jump forward and, and get in the bridle and cruise with you. But he, he's not overly aggressive about it. As early on, you know, he looked like he was just going to be a little speedy horse. But he uh, he's Kenny's done a good job with getting him to, to stretch it out and, and learn to settle. We appreciate the insight. Good luck. Thank you. Brian Hernandez, Jr. aboard Mystic Dan this morning for his final breeze, and he'll be up for Derby 150.